the good tonight. Super awesome. Greetings, everyone. The good tonight here. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Warrior Assault Systems uh, cargo pack with hydration option. Hence, hydration now it doesn't come with a hydration bladder. You have to get your own. I took this one out of an older LBT cargo pouch I had, and yeah, right now it's mounted onto a plate carrier. And we're going to go into the specifics and everything as to how all that works. But also, do note, it comes with this fancy little H harness or setup, buckles into the top. As you might notice, the buckle up there. These two clip into there. These other two go into the D ring located. Well, there's two of them, D rings down here. And it basically makes a backpack. So, with that being stated, just kind of wanted to show you guys how it fits on a plate carrier first and foremost, because that's how most people would probably end up using it to keep yourself protected and still having access to food, water, and other materials you'll need going on ex uh, extended adventures of stacking bodies. So, fits nicely. It does sit a little low, as you might notice. This little part down here is a bit out of the way beyond the plate carrier. And you can set it higher if you want, but it's not recommended because the Hydro actually has the little Velcro tab and everything that when you loop to that, it also sits high, so it wouldn't pull the top out. So it's an option, but it sits on the cargo uh, plate carrier like this. It's pretty nice. And now what we're basically going to do is I'm going to take it off and show you guys how all the inner workings and everything goes and how it attaches, show you how to put on the harness, and that way you can basically transfer it over to a chest rig or use it by itself as a fun little lighter weight hiking bag, um, camel, basic camelback alternative. So let's move on to pretty much all the other stuff outside the, so I'll get back to you as soon as I get this off the plate carrier, which took me several minutes to get on earlier so I could put it back on after this video. Stand by everyone. All right, everyone. And we're back with our delightfully separated version. Move this here so I can see a bit better. So basically, you have several tabs of molly all put together. So you have one, two, three, four here on the lower portion and then three on the top up here, each four wide. So if you've got the six wide molly backing, it's gonna fit quite nicely as opposed to the more three type. Now, as I mentioned before, these buckles clip into here and that provides your uh, shoulder supports. These are adjustable. You got your kind of st standard D-ring set up here. You've got your uh, little chest connector so that you can make it a uh, tighter and help relieve some of the uh, weight from the shoulders, get more center on the chest and everything. And then, as mentioned, these just sort of loop around down here into the D-rings. And yeah, then we just got the basic molly webbing thing. So anyway, actually I'm gonna pop these open real quick to get a better view at the webbing. As you can see, these are just, it's, if you were looking at this on Amazon, they've actually updated it quite a bit. First and foremost, this tab here that says Warrior Salt Systems is now tan instead of green. This also comes in a multicam, mind you. So as we got, we've got our double set up here and then singles on the side, and this is actually broken into four tabs instead of just normal long two. So Warrior Salt Systems again, patched up on here. And this is the part where you'd weave it in through, again, four wide. First one's a two and then the or three, basically another four down lower. So this basically enables you to mount it onto your plate carrier or an extra backpack or something. And then through the simple use of these buckles here, clip that in, clip that in, and boom. So that's basically how your two mounting options are gonna work here. Now as for the bag itself, if we undo these two uh, compression clips here. They do latch in with the little plastic tabs on the side, so that can adjust how uh, tight everything is. And we're gonna pop this on open. Now I added a D-ring and stuff in here, but as you can see, let me actually move that out of the way. Gloves be gone. So we've got our hydro pack, and it actually has this little mesh and everything to keep that separated from the rest. And here is the fabric tab that connects up towards the very top, and that's basically what's gonna provide all the support for your hydration bladder, which is currently empty. And at the top here, you have your little port to export the uh, hose out of, so you can wrap that around yourself. And as you can see, there's actually quite a bit of room. This can actually be made quite wider. I've got these a little bit tight at the moment, but this can get about yay wide on the uh, double side and even pretty wide on the single side if I were to free up these tabs a bit. Let me see if I can. Yeah, so you see, you've got some room to work with. So you can load this with several MREs or whatever you believe you're gonna need for the duration of your trip. 
Pretty nifty. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And that's just the top compartment here. We got these nylon reinforced tabs here, and the zipper is actually pretty nice from what I've seen. Haven't extensively tested it, but so far it's looking pretty good for the price paid. Open this up now. I've got two magazines in here and a compass right now, but basically, since I'm going to be just making a mess out of everything at the moment, take those out. And as you can see, we've got a back portion here, which opens with a little bit of Velcro. And then there's uh, two segmented pouches from that one. And then there's the main pouch where you've got the compass, Linzati compass just hanging out down there. And that's pretty much all there is to it, really. So, that being said, we'll go ahead and close these up. And the benefits of the backpack style, like we've got here, is that you can swap out of your plate carrier. You might have a chest rig like this Tactical Taylor one we got here. It's got a little 4-bit panel back here, so we could technically weave the top part in here and then just use the straps for the remaining bit of support. But all you gotta do is... Uh, while we continue this, speaking of Tactical Taylor, as much as I love the brand and everything, I probably should have opted to spend the extra bit on the front clip one. So. Now my days are spent struggling through this one piece. It's still fantastic, amazing build, top quality, but I probably should have got the one that I clipped in the front just for uh, ease of use. So, we now have a sufficiently lighter chest rig with two magazine pouches and plenty of shotgun shells for the road. Got a radio pouch and everything, and we're looking pretty good, but let's say we still need to carry hydration. So, now that we've got our little tabs here, just pop this open, we're gonna backpack this bitch. Throw one over here, throw one over here, and congratulations. We have successfully transitioned from a plate carrier to a chest rig. I'm gonna run this through the, no, there's no thingy. So just run this through here like normal, and we are now ready to go continue adventure. Now it sits, still sits pretty nicely. I could, like I mentioned, put it through there to give it a bit of added stability, but we're looking pretty good. I have hydration for the road. And the added bonus to using these fancy little backpack straps is in the event that you have some downtime, you don't have to remove your entire plate carrier to just get access to it. All you gotta do is undo the clip and you can actually, I'll, uh, what's that game? Rainbow Six The Division. No, was it the division? No, not the division. Whatever. Not at the city. You can basically pull off your bag. And you can reach in here, take a knee, grab whatever you want, throw some Skittles in your face, find a bag of charms, throw it in your... in the least likes teammate's dump pouch. And then, with a quick flip, you're back on the road and ready for your adventure. So, this has been a bit of a lengthy review for what's pretty much a backpack. And, yeah, it's about... $100 or so. Now there's no handle or anything up here, but it is fantastic. It's simple and it does a fantastic job uh, doing itself. So, you know, things I would note is that these side bits, the side bits of Molly here are a bit wider than normal, which can be a good thing. You're generally not going to want to mount too many things on the outside of this because the farther it gets away from the stability of the plate carrier or anything, the looser it's going to become. Now, Moving on to a more airsoft sense, what I would do is I would take a slung weapon catch like so, I would clip it through the side, and just in case you ever get the opportunity to get an epic sword kill, a, a nerf sword, particularly a giant one like this, fits quite nicely in there, and now it's accessible from over your shoulder to draw, and you might get that one opportunity to actually slice them with it. Probably not as viable IRL, but the option is there. Oh, so yeah, the tabs. Basically, they're gonna do exactly what you think. So instead of the buckles, I totally forgot about this, which is how you know this is, I'll do it live recording. It's basically, the tabs look like this. They don't use the buckles anymore. They use more of a blue force gear slash, uh, oh, what is it? Um, BDS tactical sort of setup. To where this basically weaves around. And when you're done, you fold it under here. And it gives a good amount of tension support and everything. Now, technically, if I was going to use this as a backpack, 
I might take the additional time to basically weave all this under here real quick and then just pop it through the bottom here just to kind of give it that added bit of a not going to pop out and flail around sort of a property. So that's pretty much all there is to it. So you can carry all your little this will add in sort of stuff in here. You can carry added IFAC materials in the bottom pouch, all your food and water and stuff in the top. And you can basically extend your operations for a long period of time without using, say, a sufficiently larger backpack. You could also just fill it with, I don't know, say, 7.62 100-round uh, belts for the uh, uh, 240 Bravo or whatever you got going with you. So, options. Pretty fantastic backpack. Far more, uh, far more versatile than your average camelback, and sufficiently smaller than any of your small, or your larger day packs. Even sufficiently smaller than our 511, was it 24 hour bag we got here? Sufficiently smaller, so you're not gonna fill it with ponchos or extra clothing or anything, although you could get a few in there. It's basically gonna be a, we're gonna get a bunch of shit done in a very small, amount, short amount of time and then get back to base. So, fantastic absolutely in love with it so far and looking forward to seeing how it holds up out on the airsoft fields of Okinawa and up in mainline so all I got for you guys that's pretty much all I got I was mostly interested in these straps here because everywhere I looked online they had nothing so I'm gonna go upload some pictures to Amazon to help out my fellow man and there you go so that's all I got for you guys stay chivalrous hope you enjoyed the review let me know if you have any questions although again like I said fairly straightforward Interesting thing. Really interesting to finally see what all goes into it. So, cheers everyone. See you, see you in the next video.